Hi everyone. Today I am going to explain about second PUC physics practicals. In that first I am going to explain about resistivity of the material of the wire. This experiment is based on Ohm's law. You all know about Ohm's law. What is meant by resistance and what is meant by resistivity in your theory classes. Here I am directly moving to the practical section. That too. Here this is a circuit diagram. By this circuit diagram we are going to calculate the resistivity of a material of a given wire. Here you may take steel wire or copper wire. For that wire we have to find the resistivity. It, it is having certain particular length intervals. Okay. Now, now I am going to show over the apparatus. Here this is a battery. Okay. Here there are two terminals are there positive as well as negative. Here we have two positive terminals that shows two different ranges. This one is 1.5 volt range and this one is 3 volt range. Okay. You may take any one that is left to your choice and this is a negative terminal black color and this is a this is a milli ammeter in which we are going to calculate the current intervals. Here the range is there 0 to 500 range in that 0 to 100 uh, 10 divisions are there each division value is 10 milli ampere okay and this is a volt meter here range is 0 to 5 volt okay here for a 0 to 1 range there are total 10 divisions are there 0 to 1 volt okay here one division means 0 0.1 0 0.1 volt okay 2 division means 0 0.2 volt okay like that we are considering and this is the plug key okay when key is open there is no flow of current inside the circuit when i keep the key here then there is a flow of current in the circuit and this is a rheostat okay here we have three ends okay one is upper end and these are the two lower ends okay here this end is not connected this is a free end and here this is a minimum value we have to move the knob like this to get different readings okay. voltage as well as current readings okay when we increase the knob we will get the number of readings in the voltmeter as well as current with respect to this is a maximum value here with respect to the voltage we have to calculate the current readings we have to keep the voltage as a constant means with respect to voltage how much current we will get that we have to calculate during the practicals okay and also this is a one more device is there that is a r this is a wooden a wire metallic wire it may be i think steel wire it has certain length that is 1.75 meter and for this uh, particular length of wire we are going to calculate the resistivity of the material of the wire okay now I will uh, show you how to get the readings, how to take the readings. This is the minimum values. Now I will set the voltage to 0 0.1 volt. It is already to the 0 0.1 volt. This is a showing the 0 0.1 volt. Okay. Initially it is showing that value and for particular voltage we have current reading that is I think third division means 30 milli ampere. This is a first reading. We have to tabulate that one and next one keeping the voltage to the 0 0.2 volt. I am increasing the knob of a rheostat then it uh, sets to the 0 0.2 0 0.2 volt. Huh. Now it is exactly at 0 0.2 volt means for second division the needle is there okay. for this now we have to calculate the current readings for second division it is at uh, around seventh seventh number seventh or eighth near to eight division means uh, 80 milli ampere means 80 milli ampere we have to tabulate that value and again I am increasing the voltmeter with help of rheostat knob 
that is I am keeping to the 0 0.3 volt okay for 0 0.3 volt let us consider the current reading that is around 90 for it is for 9th division 90 milli ampere okay you have to note down that one this is third reading and you may take number of readings by increasing the knob of a rheostat next I am keeping this to the one more increasing order that is for 0 0.4 volt okay this is now for 0 0.4 volt for this voltage again measure the current it is exactly at 12th division that means 120 milli ampere okay in the same way we have to take the number of readings okay current as well as voltage now now you can see the experimental connection this is the connection having the different meters voltmeter ammeter resistance box means resistance of the wire battery key as well as rheostat okay this same connection will be for the another experiment that is resistance per unit length resistivity of the material of the wire as well as resistance per unit length both are having the same circuit diagrams okay now i am going to explain about calculation part okay here we are observing the am as well as apparatus okay principal this experiment works based on ohm's law okay and next one here the there are two formulas are there first one is r equal to v by i means already we calculated the current and voltage readings we taken the readings okay and those taken readings we have to use here in this formula r equal to v by i for finding the resistance we use the formula v by i interchanging the formula of ohm's law v equal to r i okay next this is the formula of resistivity by using this formula we have to calculate the resistivity of the given material of the wire okay here rho means resistivity and pi we know that a small r means radius of the given experimental wire and capital r is the mean resistance which is obtained from tabular column and where capital l is the length of the experimental wire okay here this is the circuit diagram by using this diagram we taken the readings that is battery key rheostat emitter this is r and this is a voltmeter okay next these are the some of the readings which are taken in the during the experiment okay here r value is the given value okay you need not to find the radius of the given wire why because they only giving in a question paper hmm? 0.2 to into 10 to minus 3 meter and length of the experimental wire that we have to measure it or we may take it from that uh, wooden box there also they mentioned the length of the wire okay these two are the given things in the experiment okay next uh, these are the readings taken by the students okay here for uh, 0 0.2 volt the corresponding current is 60 milli ampere okay next for 0 0.3 volt 70 milli ampere next for 0 0.4 120 milli ampere for 0 0.5 130 okay in the same way here we taken eight readings okay eight readings okay minimum three is enough for graphical purpose i taken the more readings okay. next this is the 
calculation part for r okay r calculation okay r equal to v by i using the value of each readings here calculate it individually here v means first one is 0 0.2 volt then for that voltage current is 60 milliampere okay 0 0.2 by 60 is 0 0.003 okay here in denominator we have 10 raised to minus 3 okay shifting this 10 raised to minus 3 to numerator part okay then it becomes 10 raised to plus 3 okay 0 0.003 into 10 raised to 3 means 1000 okay that becomes multiplying we will get 3 ohm 3 ohm in the same way v equal to ri for second reading 0 0.3 volt the current is 17 to 10 to minus 3 okay next 0 0.3 by 70 that becomes 0 0.003 into 1000 that becomes 4 ohm okay in the same way we have to calculate for 8 readings here i taken the 8 readings okay for 8 reading also we have to calculate it individually okay. then we have to take the mean value there are total 8 resistance values are there adding those 8 resistance values and dividing by 8 that gives the mean value that is 3.375 ohm okay. next using that mean value in this formula resistivity formula rho equal to pi means 3.142 into small r means that is given value 0 0.22 into 10 to minus 3 whole square okay. into capital r means 3.375 mean value divided by l means length of the given experimental wire that is 1.75 okay in next step uh, write down 3.142 as it is and 0 0.22 we have to make it a square hmm? 0 0.22 again into 0 0.22 okay that becomes 0 0.0484 okay then 10 to minus 3 into to the power 2 for that we have to take the formula that is x is to m to the power into x is to m into x is to n okay that power is x is to m into n here we have 3 here 3 into 2 that becomes minus 6 here 3 into 2 that becomes minus 6 and power is minus okay minus into plus minus okay 10 is to minus 6 okay again capital r value as it is hmm? simplifying next step we will get multiplying the remaining values here numerator part is 0 0.513 and denominator part is same 1.75 into 10 to minus 6 again simplifying we will get 0 0.29 into 10 to minus 6 this is the resistivity of a given material of the wire okay and uh, this same value we should reprint in a result part that is here we have the result okay this is the result value resistivity of the material of the wire okay here we have the value rho is the symbol of resistivity rho equal to 0 0.29 into 10 to minus 6 ohm meter ohm meter is the unit of resistivity of the material of the wire okay we have to express the result in numerical value and we have to express the unit okay then only you will get two mark in the result part okay so by this it completes the resistivity of the material of the experimental wire okay in next video i will come with another experiment okay thank you